Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got something a little bit different today and something pretty cool to me because this is like opening a time capsule. This here is my very first truck. Uh, my dad had gave it to me, but the engine was blown up. And he said, well, he said, you like taking stuff apart and you like uh, doing things mechanical. So if you want, you can have the truck, but you got to put an engine in it. So this thing here has not ran or been on the road since 2004. So I think that's 2021, that's 17 years. This is a heavily modified, started life as a 460. Um, man, I got, at the time I had my life savings in this thing, I think. But uh, it has not even turned over in 17 years until today. So can we get it running? We're gonna find out. So stay tuned. We've tried to turn it over with a ratchet and uh, it turns over about 90%. It's got one place that it doesn't like to turn over. We've yanked all the spark plugs out. And these are Spitfires. And I don't even know if they still make these anymore. So we yanked all the spark plugs. We sprayed some PB blaster and every hole, we're gonna let that sit. We gotta put a starter solenoid on the fender here. Uh, we'll rock it back and forth with the ratchet again and start bumping it over the starter and see if we can get this hang up out of it. Um, it kind of comes to a slow stop, so I was thinking it's rusting the cylinder walls. Might be able to soften it up and get around it, hopefully without breaking a ring. So the valves and everything look clear. They're all moving um, from what I can tell uh, just by looking inside the exhaust ports on the side. We're gonna blow this thing off. We're gonna vacuum all this trash out of here, get this battery in it, get this starter solenoid on and see if we can start getting it to move again all the way around. If I get it to move all the way around, we'll probably get some gas to this thing and uh, put the ignition and all the wiring back together and see if we can make it run. But first, we got our headers here. Uh, we got them cleaned up a little bit. We got here cleaned up. And I remember from uh, messing with this thing all the time. I think this thing was my baby. I I played with this thing. It was my race truck, fun truck, mud truck, uh, daily driver. I mean, <laughs> minus two miles a gallon, fun times. So we're gonna silicone the headers because I remember last time I blew header gasket after header gasket it uh, just sucked. So I think the very last thing I did was I used the red silicone and it seemed to work. Got new header bolts, new battery, silicone, new spark plugs. I'm um, sure the carburetor's very gummed up. Maybe, maybe not. If not, I got another one. But we're gonna get this thing back in operation. Hopefully. First order of business. Can we get this thing to turn over again? Okay, we got the starter solenoid on here. We've been letting the uh, engine soak with some PB blaster in it, also down through the carb. Um, you guys might ask, I've got a shop, all the expensive tools, everything at my dispense. Why in the world am I doing it right here in my, my yard at home and uh, laying in the gravel? Well, you know, back then, 15, 16 years old, didn't have a shop and all those fancy tools and everything else and uh, didn't have a home garage. So a lot of the times I worked on this thing to keep it running and keep it maintained, I did it right in the driveway and that was a lot of fun. I think it made me who I am. So I decided, you know, I'm not gonna pull it to the shop and clog up everything that's going on there. I'm gonna do it right here, old school, just exactly the way I used to do it when I was 15, 16 years old. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, I'm gonna climb underneath here the ratchet and I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to turn over more than I could 
uh, earlier this morning or yesterday afternoon. So, we'll turn it over, see what we get. Uh, if I can get it to turn really close to almost over or do it halfway easily, we're gonna hook the battery up and see if I can get this thing to turn over on its own. Well, I'm excited. I'm pretty, really excited actually. So after the PV blaster, letting it sit overnight, and then uh, this morning putting more in it, putting some diesel fuel down through the carburetor and uh, letting it sit a little bit, it turned over easy all the way around. So I think we're ready to hook the battery up and see if she'll turn over on her own. Of course, we're not ready to fire it yet. We gotta put the uh, distributor spark plugs in it. Spark distributors there, we gotta hook up the MSD ignition, spark plugs, headers, and necessary things to fire it up with. Of course, some gas, we could probably just pump that out of a little gas can. But uh, we're gonna get pretty close today. Well, it started to rain on us, but we really made some progress. We got our carburetor covered back up. We got our spark plugs back in here. Um, battery hooked up. The good news is, is, of course we got it to turn all the way over. And we also got it. Oh yeah. So, now that it started to rain on us, we're gonna call it a break and uh, We'll probably resume on another day. Hopefully today, if it quits raining. If not, we got a cabin that we're restoring. Uh, I got some drywall work to do, so I can go do that while it's raining, or I can go up in the barn and find my MSD ignition, uh, spark plug wires, all the rest of this stuff to get this thing to actually make a sound again. Uh, we will have to go through and put a tap into every one of the holes for the header bolts in the heads because they got mud daubers and everything else so good idea to go through that but uh, it started to rain part of being a shade cream mechanic you know sometimes it's fair weather mechanic you only work on it where it's fair weather or string a tarp up done that before too but uh this ain't no pressing adventure this is just one of them sunday fun having a good time going back to the roots working outside in the gravel in the dirt and everywhere else so we'll resume on another day, uh, hopefully today, if it quits raining. And we're gonna run the uh, tap into the heads, get our headers on, get our ignition hooked up, probably uh, put a pump on it with uh, five gallons of gas or a little two gallon gas can, run it up the carburetor, get it primed and see if she'll fire. I believe she will. Well, after opening up the time capsule with the 84 Ford, um, I really got anxious when I was up there looking around for the MSD stuff and the ignition stuff, and I ended up pulling out uh, my old 35 Chevy here. And uh, this was my dad's many, many years ago. He ended up gifting it to me, and uh, me and my wife just pulled it out of the barn. And I mean, we literally just pulled it out of the barn and rolled it down here. We're gonna start sanding this thing down and uh, get some sealer on it. and. We're gonna put an engine back in this thing and get it running again, but we got new seats for it. I've got all this stuff to put it back together. The floor pans are solid. It had old wood dash in it, but uh, we're gonna fix this thing back up. It'll be pretty cool. So stay tuned. We'll probably still get back to the 84 Ford. I might also drag out my 69 Mustang. I'm on fire here. So uh, I'm loving opening these time capsules. Well, we got the headers bolted on. We got the spark plug wires on it. We got a mounter coil and wire the distributor, wire the MSD box. And we're ready to fire this thing up with a little gas down that carburetor. Well, it looks like the rain's gonna shut us down for this afternoon, but man, we made a lot of progress. We got the uh, 35 Chevy and the enclosed and some parts dug out for it. And uh, we get some connectors for this guy on a day it's not raining we'll finish it out i think we're going to go ahead and order a carburetor for it so uh and redo our gas tank and everything else i mean i got a lot of confidence since it's turning over i know it'll run it's got to run um it ran before so um i think we're going to cut it here 
And when it ain't raining, we're gonna come back and finish this guy up, fire it up, and I'm anxious for you guys to hear it because this thing is nasty. It's a, uh, it'll talk to you. It's got a great big cam in it, over 600 lift, and it's a blast. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got the new carburetor bolted down here. We got our makeshift fuel system on here, just a little one gallon fuel cell and a pump. And we have messed with two separate MSD boxes, totally unsuccessful. So we're completely done with that. We bought an HEI distributor and we're gonna throw it on here and see if it'll make noise. And also, we done burnt the starter solenoid completely up, so we gotta put a new one of them on. And then we're gonna see if this thing will finally make noise. Well, she sounds decent, a little sluggish still. We gotta get a timing light on it and figure out if we can get this thing still snappy like it was, and it may be tired. We don't know, but it's running. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's not the magnitude of the wind. It's just the, the great feeling of having a small wind. Uh, we finally got this thing to fire. Yesterday, we messed with it, we messed with it. I think we got it flooded. Well, I know we got it flooded, and uh, you know, this thing needed everything it could get to run again. It needed a good, healthy spark, you know, gas, everything a thing this thing needs. We had to finally get the right pattern to get it to start. Uh, like I said, 17 years since this big engine's been fired, and uh, we made sure we had good oil. We tried, we fought with a spark and spark with a spark, but I think mostly we were fighting the ground issue. So we had weak spark. We had good gas. We had a good distributor, but we still had weak spark. Once we got that worked out, we finally got this big old beast fired up again. And uh, we got a long restoration process one of these days. The biggest thing was I wanted to get it fired up again. We had just put a transmission in it 17 years ago whenever we had stopped working on it. Life got busy. We uh, wanted to do other things. I ended up getting hardcore into some diesels and I just kind of left the gas industry for a while. So this old beast is up and running again. Uh, we got a lot of things we want to do on the wiring and the interior needs a few things. You know, it needs some paint. The dash weathered the storm pretty good. 
the headliner was new at the time but uh, this part of the dash has fallen off you know the mice has been on here a little bit but uh for the most part you know it, it weathered the storm being wrapped up in a box and uh just not open for a long time you know it weathered the storm pretty good so i'm really happy i'm thrilled to death um we're gonna we'll continue on this thing little by little we got tons of stuff to do but i cannot i can't express how happy i am to hear this engine run again uh, back in the day when i was 15 years old i'd got this truck i had uh had the motor built for it by a professional put it in there we had some issues with the cam lobing out i ended up tearing it down and putting it back together again and then uh, it ran for quite a while it was kind of a play toy fun truck hot rod it's four-wheel drive and uh, it was fun to race and fun to to mess around and we had a i had a blast with it i mean this thing i do four-wheel drive burnouts in it i mean it was crazy and uh the transmission went out i don't know why but it went out and i had uh one of my local buddies that has a transmission shop rebuild the transmission I stuck it back in there. I remember I had it up in the old barn and I uh, stuck the transmission in, put the headers on it. I got it fired. I wanted to do some other exhaust work, took the headers back off to get them coated and then life got busy and I just kind of left the project. So it sat in the barn for a while. It got put outside the barn. Then it got moved around the property, put outside and here it sits. 17 years since this thing has made a sound and it is running and roaring again so doesn't sound the healthiest as what it used to you know we probably need to get uh, a little more adjustment done on the carburetor we need to get better timing but other than that i'm just here to hear it run again and i love it i love it so you guys stay tuned uh thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing liking i like the comments please keep it up we got tons of other cool videos coming uh, did a lot of flying the day wasn't able to record we had a bunch of stuff going on but uh, we're getting closer with the uh the flying episode we're gonna have some more cool videos with that and i got some motivational speaking coming up uh some other things that i do the uh real estate company is getting closer um all kinds of stuff right now i gotta get my butt back to work i took a few minutes to work on my own stuff here i gotta go pick up a friend's 2015 duramax it's a no start issue we gotta get the gooseneck hooked up to the old workhorse here and get our butts to work so y'all have a great day thanks see y'all later